okay um, clients ask me that um, he wants to know uh, that for F and G type right that uh, how many how many of them are from productions deck and uh, which is F and G type and then uh, there will be three because uh, in this list there's only three of them fulfill them the other of course although it is in type F and G but uh, they are from different location so for this we're gonna employ the count if so the count if right we are checking on column D 5 to uh, this 19 right and check are they equivalent to hash 5 so what is hash 5? The hash 5 is actually production deck so if you don't want to refer to find this is hard right you can change that to productions deck and um, not only that they, only, they also need to uh, fulfill another condition which is that on column E on column E <coughs> E5 to E19 that it must be matching F and G so two conditions must be met and each of the conditions is uh, checked on the different columns so for this is check on column D and this is check on column E so then you got three because uh, only these three fulfill only these three fulfill the requirement which is this and that now what is cool in the, my class says that uh, although we have three but uh, there are three cable one cable two cable three to uh, install in this location and this and the type of this but <coughs> depending on this column F we know the class knows that right for cable two it is not installed so he wants to know what is the method to find out if there is no um, that is isn't installed yet right if it's installed there is a date to tell that this is installed so we're gonna employ the idea of to find out in this column what cell has a value and what cell do not have so what you do is that you can check a cell whether a cell has a value or not right by using this compare is it not equals to empty then it tells you it is true right you can see that it's true and as we drag this down for this it's become false so making use of this knowledge we check whether the cell F5 contains something right it is not equals to empty not equal to empty means that it contains something but if it's empty is it not equal to empty that is wrong it's no because it is empty so with that knowledge we can say um, we can use a count if a simple count if let's learn the simple count if right from here to here let's just look at this tree cell right and then we employ the knowledge of this compare with uh, is it equals to uh, F um, close bracket we got three so uh, it seems like we can't do that let's see what is three not equals to empty let me see my notes okay I guess I gotta use Rather than that empty string, I want to use the vowel cut.
not contain something. So F five to this. So is there something here? Let me see. Uh, B five to here, right? Not equal to something. How oh, if? So let's see what we have here. What we got? And very strange. So I can't solve this right. Uh, I will solve it in another video. But just to let you know, right, solving a problem like this, right, is not always have the solution for one way. So we need some time. We need a break. I will solve it in this in the next video. Thank you.